Hi everyone, we are Dilly, the WGIS improvised play team. Today we have a very special play in that it is just going to be two people. Ooh. So buckle up, you are in for a good show, we promise, even though we don't know what it's going to be. So to get us started, we just need the name of a play that has never been performed before. I'm seeing the five year rule. Fantastic. Well, without any further ado, this is the five year rule. Uh, like three years ago. <laughs> yeah, it was so fun. Like honestly, like Stephen and John were teasing me the entire time that I have no sense of color. And I said, I am not colorblind. I am just very, very eccentric. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is quite harsh to have a painted rock with like electric yellow and magenta and lime green. But you know what? You made it work. Thank you. I feel like that's like a metaphor for me as a person. A lot of harsh elements. Not to be yeah. too on the nose, but yeah, harsh elements. Pretty, pretty on the nose. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not one for subtext, as you know. <laughs> no, no. Uh, famously, famously, famously not. That's why. That's why we're in this situation, sort of. I mean, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I see that you have not started packing. No, I have not. No, no, no. I'm, well, I just I feel the futility of doing but, There is no fut futility. This is not doing it is futile. Futile? Futile? Futile. Futile. Whatever futile it is, sounds like can't resist the surf. board. Yeah. Look. I get it. I get it. We move, right? And we move together or and then we move, we move apart. We move apart. I get it. I get it. But I don't want to do either of those. And that's the that's the part that feels so futile to me. Lacey, neither we, of them strike me as good. Op Lacey, we agreed. This is best for both of us. No, it's not. It's not. It's not for me because no, I don't like change. You said, you said I got five years. You said I got five years and we could just try and make it work in one community. And now all of a sudden. It's been five years. No, it hasn't. It's been, it's been four years, three months and, and 16 days, which is okay. not. Okay, that is too specific. And I can't make it five years. I can't. And you think you think it's going to be better in DC? You think that we're gonna we're gonna suddenly magically click in this magic city because you're no, gonna I don't. Build? I don't. That's why I'm going alone. You said I could come with you. I think you heard what you wanted to hear. Oh, that's just like you. You and your subtext. Hmm. I'm so sorry. When I when I say things, I'm very clear. I say I don't want to move. You say, "Oh, I think you heard what you want to hear." That's that's highly open to interpretation. Lacey, I said with no subtext, "I am moving to DC. I am going to work on the hill. I am going by myself to live my dream." How can it be your What dream about that did you uh, misunderstand? How can it be your dream if it's not with me? That's what I don't understand. That's what because, I don't understand. Because we, it's not it's not my okay. job to okay. give up my life for you unless I choose to. And you're guess right. what? I'm no, not right. choosing to. 
You're right. Did you see how the cat likes me? You can keep the cat. I'll get a new one. God, that's how you are. That's who you are. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. Thanks. Always liked you more. I bought. I I I bought myself a a very cute little pedicure in Manhattan, and I don't need you. Or I and the cat, and I don't need you. We don't have right. any needs. Hi, uh, I I, uh, I brought I brought the cat his medicine. They, oh, thanks, Tom. That's, that's okay. Tom, um, don't be depressed. It's I'm, fine that Cheryl doesn't need us. You know. Yeah. yeah. She's she, she's what? she's very independent. Why yeah. are you bringing your brother into this? Well, this is our breakup. You don't consider him part of the family. That's exactly what I'm saying. You are so afraid of attaching. It's your mother. It's your mother who did this to you. I honestly, okay. Okay. I'm gonna go find Mace. I gotta go find the cat. I, I mean, I wasn't expecting you to come. <laughs> it's, it's been a long time since book club. Uh, yeah, long time. Why did you? Ch Ugh, I don't want to get into why you chose Withering Heights again. There's too many Heathcliffs. I, it, oh, it always been a slightly aspirational figure to me. Um, Figures. Probably because Cheryl only identifies with um, the, the, what's his name, from Jane Eyre, Mr. Rochester. Okay, <laughs> don't, be th don't be throwing Jane Austen at me, okay? Charlotte. Brown. I was the one who took you to her house and bath. Come on. All right. I I need to go cool down. I need to go cool down. Sisters. Right. It's it's hard to remember which sister is or, which. No, Edith Warren did not write Jane Eyre. No, one of the Brontes. I it's fine. You know what? This is what I'm saying. I get sucked into this. I'm just so glad you're here to call me and center me. Like I would feel I would feel honestly without you being here, like I was losing a limb, losing Cheryl. But like who needs her when you have family, right? Exactly, exactly. I, I've, no, I'm I not reading have... Wuthering Heights again. No. No, no, no. no. no, I, no. I, I, I brought the cat, the medicine. That uh, was sweet of you, Tom. Yes. Tom, you're moving with me to, to Manhattan, right? You're not, you're not gonna abandon me. I, I feel like I should have. God, I should have asked. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm taking a, I'm taking a job out west. What? Um, you working? Uh, yes. I, I thought I'd experiment with it. Um, I got tired of just sitting at home reading gothic literature. Since uh, when? I'm sorry. I was gonna, I was gonna surprise you and say that we could read Rebecca next. Oh. Oh, no, 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 I have to become a gameful member of society. God, see, you're, you're buying into Cheryl's blah, blah, blah. Oh, they were parasites. I'm sorry that mom and dad left us so wealthy. I'm sorry that we don't need to work and that means that we have to be fulfilled other ways. Look, I fulfill myself with my relationship with my cat. It's a... And charity work. Your foundation is a wonderful thing. Yeah. People need quilts. Yes. Yes. And the, the inspirational messages you put on them are very, very nice. I I, I need to go out and I've, I've taken a job. I've taken a job in the mountains. I'm going to lead people around walks. You know, I like to walk. One time I did that walking book club. I remember uh, that. I'm, I'm, I've taken you a job. You your reading. ankle twice. I, I have to be able to just live my life. This is Cheryl's doing. This is Cheryl, Cheryl going around talking about, you know, needing to make like, you know, idle hands and needing to make good on one's promise. And it's, you know what that is? That's all this Horatio Alger, like bullshit. You know, it's a, the great American myth. Sister. It's fine. I don't need anybody. I've got the cat. I'm fine. In my quilts. 
That's really sad, Lacey. I'm going to go and put the medicine in the fridge because it needs to be kept in the fridge in between doses. And if we're going to be here a little while, it's... He's never going to handle the altitude, you know? You've talked him into, into basically killing himself. His lungs are going to be, like, compressed. No. And then... I have not talked to Tom about anything mountain-related. No, all you had to do was plant your little seed, that little seed that you do, that nagging feeling that you like to create in people that they're not doing enough, that they're, that they're. Do you ever wonder that it's, you're the common denominator? No, I don't wonder at that because I know what I'm doing is if I'm a force for pure good. I'm giving people quilts. I'm loving cats. I'm glad you have your hobbies, but. Do you think that instead of focusing on your relationships that you've just pushed people away? Me, your brother? I, I'm trying to hold you as tight as I can. It's not my fault that I don't, let, I, don't too, I don't make myself vulnerable to you. It's too late, Lacey. You had five years, okay, excuse me, four months, three weeks and 16 days you had that to be vulnerable and every time i tried you found a way to come out of it and i kept saying maybe she'll change and you know what that's on me because i thought you could change and i thought i could change you and i'm done this is you trying to get me to give you my le manger like cutlery i'm not doing it i I'm don't taking want your cutlery. fucking cutlery i know what this is this is a guilt trip because you want something I don't, don't. I don't know how to make you listen. And I guess I just have to go. Listen. Don't I? Goodbye. Yay, we're both here. And it was a surprise trio show. How fantastic, all three of us here. Uh, we're gonna do one more for you today, um, all three of us. So we just need one more title of a play that's never been performed. Twice on Sundays, fantastic. Ooh, all right, you. twice on Sundays. The pot is excellent. Yeah, <laughs> just, you did a great job. I, 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 I didn't, I didn't expect it. I'm honest. I, I always thought I was terrible at this kind of stuff, and now it's here and it's back, and mm -hmm. I'm just pumped. I'm really excited. I'm pumped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm really proud of you. You're, you, finally set your mind to something, and you saw through it, and now you have this incredible thing yeah 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 i mean look at look at look at the angles on it look it's just like it's going up like this going up like this and then the other side's going up like that and then oh surprise it goes out like that and then it comes up who would, who would have expected it you, you don't see that you don't see that in yeah. in like uh in bathroom and home stores you just you just don't see it it's 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 unusual it's a personal touch i really think i'm at the beginning of something exciting with this yeah yeah so you're gonna keep going with it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did I not tell you? I have booked myself uh, the next two weekends. I'm I'm on an intensive. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to like level one, level two. I'm gonna level three this shit. I'm gonna go all the way through. I'm I'm gonna be like a one man industry. That's exciting, wow. isn't it? Wow. That's and we are so amazing. lucky to have you. You are honestly one of the most talented most prodigious talents. I have seen a raw talent in many years, many years. I'm sorry, who, who are you? 
Why are you no. on my home right now? Sandra. This is Sandra. She, oh. She's a teacher. I'm going to be spending like weekends yeah. with her. Uh, yeah. I prefer, I'm the dean of the uh, program, the uh, ceramic programming here at the Art, the art Lounge. Uh, yes. Great. Um, Sandra Somerset. Oh, of course. Oh, oh. So, Sandra, this is um, um, mm. excuse me. Uh, this is this is this is Mary. This is this is my wife, Mary. Hello, wife. Mary. Yes. Yeah, Mary, we, you we, are we, a very we... lucky woman. Yes, I know. I am very lucky. His work is 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 raw and it's visceral, mm -hmm. and it, it it's evocative in a way that I just I find so invigorating. I um. I cannot wait to have him on the intensive this weekend. She she says I've got magic hands, Mary. Magic hands. We but it's it's Alex's wedding this weekend. You're, oh. you're gonna be in It's Mary. my brother's wedding. I have surely a once in a generation talent like your brother. Uh, Needn't well my, oh my, no, my, I'll let my you husband. Decide. Yeah, your my husband. husband. Right, your husband, right. You're a fun couple, aren't you? That's cute, and I like it. I like um, the visual contrast, and I like the 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 swirling chaotic energy that surrounds you. Um, I'm sorry for forgetting my manners. I will go get you some lemonade. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Did I interrupt? I am so sorry. No. I just get so excited by your art. No, no, no. I, 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 I am excited. I'm excited by you. I'm excited by this campus. I, I just oh. I love it all. I just, I just, I feel like I found my passion. I feel like I found my sort of raison d'être. I yeah, feel you know. your passion resonate through me in my every pore and fiber. I'll tell you, when I see you touch the clay, I honestly, I hear angels sing. I don't want to like wax like too rhapsodically here, but my it is splendid to watch you work i can't wait to see you this weekend i I've, I've 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 never never felt this way about something i've done with my hands before uh Just don't don't get bogged down in the trivialities if i had to give you one piece of advice as a as an established artist to a to a fledgling artist however talented it's you can't let life's weddings and petty entanglements, those marriages, those, those straps that are just designed to keep you tethered to the floor. You can't let them burden you when you're artistic. Honey, you I, I need your help. Can you? I, I will. Oh, sorry, so, so, no, no, no. just in the middle of something really important at the moment. She's just, oh, no. no, I need your help in the other room, please. Honey. I'm going to leave you to it. No, no, no. Sandra, uh, oh. Mary, she. Sorry, sorry. What? What? What is it? What? No, I. I guess I can just talk to you. What's going on between the two of you? Are you fucking? I. Uh, I. She I, I, said they got magic hands. Um. She said they, she got, and how does she know that? Because I'm um, sorry, but your artwork is not once in a generation. It's not once in a year. It's not once in a day. What? Why? Why? Why are you being down on me? Why are you? Why are you just like dissing my dissing my skills? Because I don't know. It's the one. This is the one thing you followed through on, and now everything else in your life doesn't matter. I my brother's I just feel wedding. Like it's been on the calendar for two years. And now you're just gonna drop it for some fucking woman at a low rent art studio? Low rent? Low rent? Have you have you seen have you seen the the, the work she's got on the walls here? Have you seen yeah. that? I mean, it's and, bad. The 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 peeling on the side in the walls. She told me that's an artistic choice. It's no, that's just bad choice. upkeep. That's just bad upkeep. That because she's an artist, she can just say it's art. This is an art basil. Sometimes the um, meta process can be lost on, on some people. There's a curatorial aspect to deciding the degree to which you maintain or abandon or, or, or neglect a, a piece of property or a piece of art. You can see that I've chosen to neglect 
certain pieces in the room and others I choose to maintain as a statement. You see, you see, you see, Mary, you see, I'm, I'm not, you see, she's the real deal. Mary, I love your passion. I see that it is misspent here because I can see that you don't have the art sensibility. You're not. Oh, come on. Now, I've encountered this many times before. It's very hard for the, the layman to be immersed in a place of creativity and of building. They, they become uh, provoked. They feel attacked by their own lack of, of, of ingenuity. Okay, cut the shit. Yes, okay. This passive aggression in my, my house. It's not even my house. It's not your house. I, I get it, you're dislocated. You're, you seem to be in a crisis. Maybe I'm, I'm take it out in and some clay. Have a look at this. Why are you doing this? If I give you a little bit of clay, can I see you work it? And I'll answer you as I see you work the- Fine. Good, good. I'm gonna give you the Sedona bisque. Good. I don't give a shit. Now, Mary, have you always felt unextraordinary? Do you feel overshadowed by the, the intensity of the light emanating from your spouse? The light of unemployment, the light of aimlessness. The, the artist's light. life is never an easy one. I Look made it a that. simple. You've got a very rough touch. I was once like you. I understand how you feel, but you can't hook yourself into the clutches of or hook yourself into a man and just hold on as tight as you can you've That's got what marriage vows are and you know what ours didn't include fucking an art teacher oh a passive aggressive petty low rent art teacher now mary i'm very flattered but i i i don't want to fuck you i am um, not I, me i'm confused who is fucking you think I'm fucking your husband? No. Yes. Here's your fucking clay. Thank you. I just appreciate his talent. Maybe How you should anyone appreciate, appreciate that talent without something else. See, that's a very cynical statement. Maybe take it out in the clay. You had a go. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. For what? I just, um, put out a lot of anger and resentment over years of our marriage and me having to take on everything and be the breadwinner and seeing you think ideas and then not follow through forever. I just channeled that all into this is what you decided to follow through with. And it seems like outside of us. I guess we haven't really been a we for a long time, have we? No. When I when I when I got excited about this, I thought it was I don't know. Maybe I thought it it was something that could make you see me in a different light, but I I realize it's not what this is. I I thought I thought so too, and then I just saw her, and I got I got jealous. God, we're not we're not in this type I'm, of I'm woman. Not, I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not we're not nothing's nothing's happening. I just yeah, got excited. It's clear. By, by I'm so it. sorry. I just, I, we, no, it hasn't been, you know, obviously we haven't been great for a, a long time and uh, it was, it is really exciting to have someone's attention on you. Do you know what I mean? I, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. It hasn't been mine. 
And, and I'm sorry, I haven't been on you either. That sounds weird. You know what I mean? I, I know what you mean. We can keep trying. You, you, you'd want to. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever it is you do, take it out in the class. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. We are an improvised play team that is called Dilly. Uh, there are normally more of us, but today was a special three, for, three person show. Uh, we'll be back uh, the same time next week, which is 3.30 specific uh, on Tuesdays um, for two original one act plays that have never been performed before. Thank you. Thanks again. <laughs>